in hearing reports that northern Israel is now under attack from areas around Syria and Lebanon. And probably Iran is behind this. As we think about that from a biblical perspective, of course we could talk about the Battle of Gog and Magog as outlined in Ezekiel 38, knowing that right around the time of the rapture, probably after at the start of the tribulation, there will be Russia and a conglomeration of other Muslim related nations such as Iran and Sudan and Turkey and others that will come in and attempt to destroy Israel. But God steps on the scene and miraculously delivers Israel, even though they will be massively outnumbered. But putting that aside, I was thinking as I was driving down the road about a parallel. You see, I've been teaching through the books of Revelation and Daniel for many years now, and also the book of Genesis. And, and as I was thinking about this attack from the north, that Israel is undergoing, my mind went back to the Old Testament. You see, there are two nations that God allowed to come in and attack his chosen people in the Old Testament times. Two nations that he, he used as disciplinarians, if you will, to try to bring his people back to himself. And that was Assyria and Babylon. So Assyria was to the north of the promised land, the Canaan land, that uh, God had given to his people. And Assyria came in and took the northern kingdom of Israel captive first. After the Assyrian invasion, we are very familiar often with the book of Daniel, where then the nation of Babylon under Nebuchadnezzar swept in and took the southern kingdom of Israel, Judah. And that is when Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were deported at the beginning of the Babylonian invasion. And as I thought about that, I thought about how Israel is being attacked from the north. And, and I'm not saying that this is right on scripture, but it's an interesting parallel to think about the fact that historically, the first attack on God's chosen people came from Assyria in the north. And Syria is to the north of Israel now and is part of this attack. Secondly, Babylon is also in the book of Revelation, chapters 17 and 18, a foreshadowing of the coming Antichrist kingdom. In Revelation 18, the future Babylon is identified as the Antichrist economic and political kingdom. And in Revelation 17, Babylon is identified as the false church, the apostate church, the one world religion. And I just find it interesting that Israel is now being attacked from the north, similar to how Assyria took God's people to begin with. And then after that, comes Babylon. And I believe that the kingdom of the Antichrist is almost upon us. I believe that Babylon, if you will, is going to follow this northern attack. Whether we look at it from the perspective of Gog and Magog beginnings, or whether we look at the pattern from the Old Testament, we see what is coming. The Bible makes it clear to us. And I want to urge every single one of you, I'm not into hype. 
I don't predict dates because the Bible forbids it. But I want you to know that God is moving. He began history over there in the Middle East. With the Garden of Eden most likely between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. With his chosen city of worship being Jerusalem in the land of Israel. And God is going to end history there. And all that we see happening is truly a spiritual battle behind it. And as we pray for those who are so terribly affected, we also remember to pray for the salvation of many. To ask the Lord to help people to lift up their heads. To look to the God of the Bible who has made it clear to us that he is going to bring history to a close. And my friends, I think he's going to be doing it very, very soon.